In this video, we're going to take a look at uh, fractions. So we got three different uh, types of problems. So this is really kind of like, uh, let's go back to Algebra 1 or something. Um, but if, you know, maybe it's been a minute since you were in Algebra 1, you don't remember how to do some of this stuff, so we'll go over it. Okay, so first one says we got 2 fifths plus 1 half times 2 thirds. Okay, so all we really have to do is find uh, the common denominator here on the part on the left the two-fifths plus one-half, so that the denominator, the number at the bottom, is the same for both of them, right? And so if we multiply five and two together, we get ten. So we can get this to now say, uh, all right, two-fifths is the same as four-tenths, and okay? we just multiply the top and the bottom by two, plus one-half is the same as five-tenths. Um, multiplied each side by five, we'll still say times two-thirds. Okay, and we got that. So once we have the denominator, again, the number on the bottom, uh, the same on both, we can just add the top, the numerator, that will get us to 9 tenths times 2 thirds. If we go 9 tenths times 2 thirds, that equals 18 over 30, which we can reduce down to 0.6 or uh, 3 fifths. Okay, so that's the first one. All right. Pretty simple, right? Really just found common denominator uh, and then multiplied it out. That's all there is. Okay, so with each one, we'll make it like slightly more difficult. Again, we have three total that we're going to look at. Yeah, get this font right. Okay, the next one we're going to go one fifth plus. 2 thirds divided by 1 fourth. Okay. So pretty uh, similar thing here first, right, where we have to find that, that common denominator, right, where we have a 5 and a 3 in the denominator. I guess the thing's going to go ahead and answer it for us, right? But So 1 fifth, we can make 3 fifteenths. And two thirds, if we multiply the top and bottom by five, we can make ten fifteenths. Okay. Times one fourth. Oh no, that's divided by one fourth, sorry. Divided by one fourth. Okay, so then we have the three fifteenths plus ten fifteenths. So then we got thirteen fifteenths, right? And so when you are dividing a fraction, the second number, I don't know if you remember this from high school, you flip it so one-fourth becomes four over one, or just four. We'll call it four over one since we're multiplying fractions, right? Um, and if we do that, 13 times four is 52. Um, and then on the bottom we'll have 15. Right? And so that's our answer is 52 fifteenths. All right, they also in decimal form did it for us, where it was 3.4667. Uh, but 52 fifteenths would be the answer that you'd be looking for. All right, and we got one more. Okay. So really we're getting used to, uh, or re getting used to common denominator. All right, three eighths plus one half divided by three fourths minus two thirds. It's more common denominator stuff when you subtract uh, times two thirds. Okay, so this has kind of like everything. Okay, so first thing, three eighths plus one half, right? So we want to get one half up to a number with an 8 in the denominator, so now we'll go 3 eighths plus 4 eighths, right? Multiply top and bottom by 4, divided by, okay, so we have 3 fourths minus 2 thirds, right? So we'll go ahead and multiply 3 fourths times 3 on each side to get 9 twelfths, minus 2 thirds times 4 on each side, gets it to 8 twelfths, and then 
We'll leave the two-thirds alone for now, times two-thirds. Okay, so three-eighths plus four-eighths, that's going to be seven-eighths, uh, divided by nine-twelfths minus eight-twelfths, one-twelfth, right? And then uh, we'll still leave that two-thirds just hanging out by itself times two-thirds. Okay, so seven-eighths divided by one over 12. So again, we got to flip that one over 12 to become 12 over one, and then we multiply it. Okay, so now we're going to have seven-eighths times 12 over one times two-thirds. Okay. So when we go 7 8 times 12 over 1, that gives us 84 over 8. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to multiply that by 2 thirds. And 84 over 8 times 2 thirds. Yeah, they can't read equals seven, right? So it actually, if you multiply it out, equals 168 over 24, and then it ends up equaling seven. Okay, so that's everything. So a lot of this was really how to find common denominator, going back a ways in math. The other parts were when dividing fractions, you gotta flip that second fraction and multiply. And you're comfortable with that stuff, you got everything you need to know on fractions for the exam.